Hi, my name is Matthew Marcoux from Pure Witness Ministries, and this is day three of the Novena of Surrender. Let's begin in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus says, How many things I do when the soul and so much spiritual and material need turns to me, looks at me, and says to me, You take care of it, then closes its eyes and rests. In pain you pray for me to act, but that I act in the way you want. You do not turn to me, instead you want me to adapt to your ideas. You are not sick people who ask the doctor to cure you, but rather sick people who tell the doctor how to. So do not act in this way, but pray as I taught you in the Our Father. Hallowed be thy name, that is, be glorified in my need. Thy kingdom come, that is, let all that is in us and in the world be in accord with your kingdom. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. That is, in our need, decide as you see fit for our temporal and eternal life. If you say to me truly, Thy will be done, which is the same as saying, You take care of it, I will intervene with all of my omnipotence, and I will resolve the most difficult situations. Let us pray. O Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything. O Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything. O Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything. O Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything. O Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything. O Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything. O Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything. O Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything. O Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything. O Jesus, I surrender myself to you, take care of everything. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you say to me truly, thy will be done, which is the same as saying, you take care of it, I will intervene with all of my omnipotence, and I will resolve the most difficult situations. <laughs> thy will be done. Um, how often do we actually mean those words? I think more often than what I would like to admit when I pray, the words might come out of my mouth as, thy will be done, but deep down in my heart, I mean, my will be done. Now, arguably, God's will is far superior to my own. I mean, is there really any contest there? But still, sometimes I forget who I'm talking to when I'm praying, and, and I'm reminded of Job in the Bible and, and all of his troubles. Now, if, if there was ever a guy who had troubles, it was Job. And he, he, he held out pretty good through a lot of suffering before he finally raised a complaint to God. And the Lord God told him what every one of us needs to ponder every time we question what God is doing in our lives. And, and this is what God said to Job. Where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth? Tell me if you have understanding. Who determines its measurements? Surely you know. And then God goes on to recount the details of creation and the ongoing miraculous workings of how our entire universe holds together within his command. And Job gives an answer to God, and it's exactly what I need to remember every time I go offering God a detailed plan of how to fix this or that problem in my life. And and this is what Job says to God. Behold, I am of small account. What shall I answer thee? I lay my hand on my mouth. Sometimes the best thing we can do is to just stop talking and start waiting on the Lord with patience and above all with confidence. And God really does have it all within his control. He knows the best outcome for everything in our lives and the lives of those we love as well. And everything in all creation is working together. He's directing each of our paths to the greatest outcome and that the greatest outcome is heaven. 
And all we have to do is trust and follow where he leads us. So if you feel like life is getting hard and maybe a little bit too much for you to handle, remember that God is in control. And all we have to do is trust and follow him. My name is Matthew Marcoux from Pure Witness Ministries. God bless.